to buy plants and resources in the United States. They've tried to buy oil company, they've tried to buy banks, they've tried to buy other enterprises, and the United States always says, well, it's a you know, military issues, national security problem. You can't do that, we won't let you do that. And so as a result, China has a very small amount of direct financial investment in the United States, something like $400 billion. The other three countries that I mentioned that were equivalent to China, Washington, they are able to invest roughly $400 billion, $300 billion, sorry, $300 billion a year in 2008. So they have no restrictions on themselves, whereas the Chinese are prevented from investing in the United States. Now, if they can't invest in the United States, what are they going to do? They have to do something with the dollars. So they hold dollars. They can't spend them. They would be happy to buy resources in the United States. And what the futures markets are saying is that the yuan is going to appreciate. It's going to go from 6.83 to about, you can read that I can, but it looks like 6.6. 6.52 by the 2011 September. So that says that the markets expect the yuan to appreciate about that amount, by the cent, more or less, over the next year and a half. Is it happening? Yes. If you look at the exchange rate, it has fallen from 6.83 percent, 6.83 yuan per dollar to 6.70 on the 24th, and on the 1st, it's down to 6.69. So it is, it, it, you want to appreciate it's going in the right direction. Second, if you look at Chinese uh, foreign exchange reserves, they have only risen by about $50 billion in the last six months, a much lower rate. If you remember, they're growing at about $400 billion a year. So this is a one quarter of the rate. Now, whether that's sustainable, I don't know. But China, of course, is spending a lot of foreign exchange in various other parts of the world. And that's dollars. And of course, that means they're dumping dollars in the market. The number of dollars on the market, uh, help, I, I have numbers on that. But the Chinese have reduced their holdings of US government securities in the last six months by about $60 billion. What do you think is the uh, appropriate rate? Like, how fast is the appropriate for the RMB to, ru to rise, the currency to rise? What's happening in the world is that a very large number of countries are feeling very oppressed. This is what happened in the 30s. So we see Brazil t talking about behaving as China and buying up their currency. Japan is now uh, selling yeah, in great quantities. And there's a discussion that this is going to happen in other countries. And, and while the Euro countries are together, we all know that they aren't together. And that the thing that was happening in Greece and, and Ireland and Portugal and I guess Spain or Italy, whichever, whichever ones you want, uh, are, 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 are beginning to buy gold. So, so the, the, the price of gold has gone in you know, six, I, I didn't check this out, but it's gone from 250 to 1330 in a relatively short period of time. And, and so people are going into these other currencies, commodities, going into goods. So that, that this kind of thing is, is, is the way that this is manifesting itself. What will RMB, what, 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 you know, what, what will RMB do? If the RMB, uh, people are going to keep buying RMB? Well, speculatively, it looks like a great investment, quite frankly, if you can figure out how to do it. I mean, it's going to rise 20% probably in a couple of years. It's not bad. If you, if you did it on margin, you, you can make yourself a very large amount of money that way. But I, don't, I can't tell you the rate or how fast. But it's clear that we're looking at a situation where various countries are thinking about following the Chinese formula, that's what it is, and begin competitive evaluations against one another 
in order to secure your position. Now, if they do that, this is why I didn't want to answer the question. If they do that, then we're back into the 30s. Now, we, we have to be more sensible of this. There's going to be a meeting of the Council of 20 in uh, November, and they're supposed to do something about negotiating us away from that disaster. Uh, 